I'm Isa. And I'm Shavail. Today we would like to take you on a road trip across the burn to find out some of its secrets. We'll see how it was formed. We'll find out about different people who lived here before us and the monuments they built. And we'll discover some of the rich layers of history that live in this weird and wonderful landscape. 25,000 years ago, the climate changed, the world froze, and we moved into the Ice Age. When the ice melted, the powers of the running water carved out an underground river. When the river dried up, it left behind these magical caves deep beneath the Alamey Mountains. Look at those amazing stalactites! Quick, Ita, I think your taxi's here. After the Ice Age, people started coming to Ireland. The Neolithic people were the first farmers. When they arrived, the land was covered in trees. Hazel, oak and ash tree. The Neolithic farmers also built amazing giant stone tombs like this one to bury their dead in. This is Paula Bone. It's a portal tomb. Do you see its classic shape, the upright stones and the huge heavy stone? Oh, let's go. As we moved into the Bronze Age, we discovered metal. Bronze Age people made tools out of bronze instead of stone. And they built wedge tombs on hills with awesome views like Paul of Hookah. Sorry I'm late. I think I got caught in the time warp. Come on. In the Iron Age, people built ring forts like Cahar Kaman, high on the hilltops. They're called ring forts because they're round. That's true. And if you look at Cahar Kaman from above, you can see three walls surrounding the fort. There are huts in the centre of the fort, and some had underground passages or sutrains that led down through the cliffs to the valley below. The Iron Age people were farmers but they were also hunters and gatherers. We don't know if whole clans lived here, or just the chiefs and their families. We're at a place called Eagle's Rock. In the Dark Ages, a man called St. Coleman came to live here in these woods. Supposedly, he lived in that cave up there. and building, the burn went from this to this. As more and more trees were cut down, the soil gradually eroded leaving the lunar landscape that we live in today. The wide stretches of rock known as limestone pavements are made up of clints, grikes and erratics. This is one of the only places in the world where alpine and Mediterranean flowers go side by side like the spring gentian and the early purple orchids. Farming is used as a tool for conservation in the burn. Green roads, like this one, were traditionally used to bring cattle up to the mountains for winter. Today, Goldland cattle still graze the slopes, keeping the landscape open. This protects the flowers and allows them to grow again in spring. The burn is a national park. It's a protected landscape. It's full of mountains, Turlocks, abbeys and castles, like Lemon and Castle. We are the guardians of this place, and it's up to us, the next generation, to look after it. It's, it's alive with history, and it's our home. Yeah!